Hello guys, I am back with another video. Today I'm gonna to do a quick little tutorial on how I made these gorgeous centerpieces for um, my upcoming baby shower. It's a twinkle twinkle little star with the sleeping princess. And then I also have these, these will have a little kissing ball sitting on top. Um, so first thing you need, I ordered these boxes from Michaels. Alright, so I ordered these boxes from Michaels. Um, one is a uh, 5.8 by 5.8. This is the little one. And then I ordered the bigger one. It is a 7.3 by 7.3 by 7.2. So these are the sizes that I use for the boxes. This bit here, I have this the fairy um the fairy lights they have these at Dollar Tree but I didn't want the warm light these are let me show you how the lights look see I wanted the white not um not warm white so I ordered these from Amazon it would I think they were 10 or 12 for about 13 dollars something like that I just put them down in here and this is of course your little handy dandy ribbon mesh here I have the uh, stars and the moon and stuff. I use this foil paper that I have, which I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend that you use cardstock. But I had this for a while now and I ordered it by accident. So I decided to just use it. But if you if you look closely, you can see how some of the stuff is um, kind of wrinkled. But it wouldn't do that with cardstock. So, and I also did, I didn't do ABC, I did the moon and A because the baby name, the baby name begins with an A. And these here, and these here, um, I bought these from Etsy, from some shop in Etsy, and then I just cut it out with my Cricut. Printed them on like a white card stock and then cut it out and put them, glue them together. But I'm not going to show you how I did them. So Show you how I created the actual base and the piece. And those these jars are just the basic dollar store jars. And you also need your hot glue gun, your hot glue sticks. Um, you may need some scissors. I don't. I probably won't need any scissors because I already pre-cut all my ribbon before I started. And I'm also my ribbon is they about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I did um, strips of eight for the top to go around the top and then around the bottom. Okay. So now let's get started. And it's real simple. And I'm going to do about ten of these. Well, I actually did one, so I got to do about nine more. Just pack a little more. Okay, let's get started. And I'm not gonna put a lot of glue. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna stay on it permanently or not. I'm just gonna put like some in the middle. And then at the end, it's still attaching me to this. So I know it's gonna come off. Done and they're cute little centerpieces. They 
has a little bling on it for any event. You can use these over and over for it, anything. Alright, so I'm not going to keep on doing all of them for the video. I'm going to move forward with, with the um, boxes.
is now that the boxes are ready, I have my picture on the stick. So you just need to take like some type of foam. I'm just gonna use this little piece of foam. I'm gonna glue it down into the box. Just glue it down in there. And then I'm going to take, I forgot to tell you guys that I need to get you tissue paper. The tissue paper is what um, makes it like she's sitting at the baby is laying on clouds. And I'm only going to use about three pieces. My, no, do I want to put my tissue paper in first? Um, I can't remember if I put my tissue paper in first the last time or not. But this time I'm just going to put this in first so I can see. I'm going to put some glue on the tip of this just to make sure it's in good. That's the tip. Um, just stick it right in the middle. That is in there. And now I'm just going to put my tissue paper and stuff it in around. Stuff it around the box. You look like she's sitting on the to put the ends in the inside of the box so the ends won't be poking out. But again, that's just something that's my technique. Of course, I want to, um, I don't want the stick to show. I just want it to look like she's sitting in the clothes. Pull it up until it looks like that. Okay. And there you have it. Alright guys, there you go. Um, I finished my tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.